Hello my fellow filmmaking boys and girls, Mike here and today I'm gonna show you my cool do-it-yourself Zeiss Cine Lens set. Woo! So I wanted a prime lens set for my main camera, the Sony a7S, uh, because I don't want to rent expensive prime sets all the time. I want my independence and I have gear acquisition syndrome, but you can't do anything about it. So. I made these lenses and here's how I did it. Before we start, let's take a closer look at the lenses I bought and modified. Here we have the 20mm Zeiss Jena Flectogon. It's a pretty affordable wide angle full frame lens. And the other full frame lens, the 35mm Zeiss Jena Flectogon, which is a real bokeh monster. This is the 80mm Biometer medium format lens. For those of you who wonder, I'm not a fan of 50mm lenses. I tend to use more extreme focal length like the 20mm or the 120mm. Next the 120mm also Biometer medium format lens, which is one of my favorite lenses in this set. And last but not least the 180mm Zona medium format lens. Very huge and heavy, but also very fast for the 180mm focal length and therefore very affordable. So all in all I paid 900 euros for the whole lens set. But now let me explain how I made the Cine conversion. First of all I bought all adapters I needed from Pentacon 6 to E-mount and M42 to E-mount. Keep an eye out for those turnable M42 adapters so you have full control over the positioning of your lens. Next, I 3D printed the follow focus rings. It took me a long time, I had so much try and error stuff going on, till the rings really fitted the lenses. But it was totally worth it because now all the focus rings fit perfectly and I can pull the focus like a champ. Next, I de-clicked those lenses. That's a bit tricky because inside of the lens are two very small iron balls. If you take out one of those little fellows you have de-clicked your lens. But there's another one which is responsible for the automatic and manual switch on the lens. This little sphere drops out very quickly but that's no problem because the automatic switch gave you the opportunity to control the lens mechanically via camera. We don't have that anymore, so it's useless. So I declicked the 20, the 35 and the 80mm lens. I did only 3 because the other two are way too complex and I don't want to mess with that. The next step is way easier. I bought some step up rings uh, so all my lenses have the same diameter of 77mm. For sure you can buy any step up ring size you want. I took the 77mm because I still have some Tiffin filters. Next I bought some blank lens caps. I could have made little stickers for the different focal lengths like normal cine lenses have. But without them I have the freedom to change every cap on every lens. And also I had some space for my own little stickers. And that's the last step. Put your own little sticker on the front of the cap. Feels good. But now let's take a look at some pros and cons of this lens set. Let's start with the cons. Some of those lenses are humongous. Especially the 180mm is goddamn heavy. It's literally for men who want to compensate. If you have the median format lenses pretty wide open you have a little bit of flaring going on. But you can avoid that by just closing the aperture a little bit. Ok now let's talk about sharpness. Those lenses are vintage lenses so you can't really compare them to a Canon L lens for example. Because if you compare them side by side the vintage lenses have a very subtle softness. But on the other hand if you shoot in 4K like I do you won't see a difference. And that's nearly it from the cons. Let's go to the pros. You have a beautiful bouquet. I compared the bouquet to one of my Canon L lenses and I really like the octagon shape. For me it adds a cinema style to the picture. You also have beautiful lens flares. Especially on the biometer lenses you have those very characteristic star shaped lens flares. And again 
compared to the Canon L lens, the Canon is just a mess of light streaks. With this set, you have a complete set of lenses from the same line, so you also have the same picture style, same colors. You can easily use them together, no problem here. Okay, there's another small con argument, you don't have autofocus. But the manual focus is awesome. You nearly get a 360 degree range to pull your focus and it's, it's smooth as butter. Silk with butter on top of it. So smooth is it. <laughs> this focus pulling is so smooth. And besides that, nobody uses autofocus. And last but not least, if you convert them cine style, you have fluid aperture control, which comes in handy if you, for example, have a scene where you want to go from outside to inside or the other way around. That's a nice feature. More light control means better movies, which means you get your Oscar soon. And the last pro argument why I did all of this the whole set is so affordable. With 900 euros you normally get just half a Sony lens. For 900 euros you get a whole set of Zeiss Prime lenses which are just amazing and if you call me now you get another lens free on top of it. All this pro and contra argumentation made me tired so let's now take a look at how those lenses actually perform. With all my production budget for those videos, I just traveled quickly to Sweden and tested those lenses. Okay, we all know that's not true. I just wanted to let you know that I was in Sweden, living the dream, Instagram style, always on vacation, traveling. If you want to see the whole video, click the little info box in the upper right corner. I mainly use 20mm and 120mm in this video. All in all, what is my conclusion here? Those lenses are beautiful, they are affordable, they are pretty much like cine lenses. They make your workflow on set faster. It feels very good to have them. You don't have to rent lenses for any shoot. You have your own little lens set. And I really recommend to think about getting them. I will use them, they will make my movies better. Because you know, it's all about the gear and not about what you film. Let me know in the comment section if you also work with vintage lenses and what's your opinion on it, your experience with it. If you also suffer from gas like me, let me also know it. Maybe we can get some help. I wish all of you boys and girls out there happy filmmaking. Cheerio!